What's going on guys? In this video, we are going to see how to prove this proposition number two. Proposition number two says negative x times y is equal to negative xy. Now in order to do this one, we are going to use list of axioms. If you want to see what are these axioms and how do we derive those things, it's in my playlist. I like I, I put the link of that video in the description so you can go ahead and watch that too. And also I refer the list of axioms in the description so you can see what is what are those. Now here we have negative x times y that's equal to negative xy. Here I am going to use proposition 1 also. I, I made a video on proposition 1 previously. I proved how did we derive proposition number 1. That is proposition number 1 says that 0 times y is equal to 0. Okay. Here we are going to use that one. And also by additive inverse negative x plus x times y is equal to 0. Negative x plus x is 0. So negative x plus x times y is equal to 0. So we just play around with this one and we want to finally end up with this one, right? Without using this, we use something else to derive this one. That's what our purpose. So let's mention what's the law we are, what's the axioms we are using. That's, this is additive inverse. <coughs> And the next thing is we are going to use the distributive law. Distributive law says when you have minus x times y plus xy that's equal to 0. So instead of 0 we can write that one here. So if I write that one minus xy minus x let's copy the same way. I'm going to mention each of the axioms. So you can refer in my other video what are those axioms are and what does that mean okay. So here minus x times y plus xy plus minus xy that's equal to 0 plus minus xy okay we just change it a little bit this equation so minus x times y. Now the next thing is we are going to use the associative law. So here what I'm going to do, I'm going to just swap this bracket to the other side. That's what associative, we can just switch the bracket around. So minus x times y plus xy plus minus xy and this is associative, associative and then that is equal to negative x times y. This is by identity. Identity law. The next thing is we are going to use the additive inverse. Here we are going to have negative x y and if you add these two together that's going to be equal to 0. Okay, let me write this one clearly. Negative x times y and if you add these two together, that's going to be 0 by additive inverse. Additive inverse. And that's equal to negative x times y. So finally, we will end up with negative x times y is equal to, hmm, I should equate right here. If I equate over here, it's going to be confusing. This is equal to negative x times y. And then negative x times y is equal to negative xy. So this is what we want to prove, right? So we just prove right here. And this is identity of addition. Identity of addition. Because we get got rid of this zero because when you add with this anything with zero, the zero can be eliminated. That's what identity of addition. Now that's it for this video. And if you are trying to learn discrete mathematics there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too and don't forget to subscribe see you next time